Recently, I was surprised to receive an email from ReFX. If you don't know who ReFX is, that is the company who created the Nexus VST and a few other things. It was a new expansion pack. It was for drill music for Nexus. Now I haven't bought an expansion for Nexus in a long time. So I went and listened to the demo of it and it sounded good. Then I saw that it only works with Nexus 4, which is a bummer because I'm still on Nexus 3. I didn't upgrade, didn't see the point in paying the price that they were asking for the upgrade at the time. So that got me to thinking, would I still use Nexus today? Nexus has been around for a very long time. It was the first VST I actually bought when you had to have the little purple dongle in order to use it. So that's, we talking 10, 11 years ago when I first bought it, it was my favorite at the time. I actually made a hit song using it, which is uh, Dej Loaf's Try Me. If you didn't know, you can check it out on my channel. If you never heard of it, search it up. Uh, used Nexus all throughout that beat when I made that beat. So I definitely used it on a lot of other projects that I've been a part of, a lot of other songs that I've done. Nexus was there over, during that time period, at least. Now, I don't really, I can't really say that I use it often. I really wanted to see if I could sit here and create a beat using Nexus and have it feel the same way that my beats currently feel, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna open up machine, load up Nexus. I'm gonna put the camera on the machine so you guys can see the machine, because of course what I'm using, I mean, I have my complete control right here, but trying to show all that, I'm not gonna do all that. Just gonna do the machine. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to use every single sound that you hear from, if I use keys, pads, basses, everything minus the drums is gonna be from Nexus. I wish the expansion packs that are new would still work with the Nexus 3 for whatever reason they don't. But as of right now, I'm not gonna pay to upgrade that. Maybe when Nexus 5 comes out, I'll do that. But let's go ahead and get over here to the computer and let's get started. So I have Nexus 3 loaded up here. And usually when I made beats in Nexus, I would usually go straight to either the piano or pads. And I think I'm gonna try and find a pad. I also like the uh, arpeggiated sounds that they have in here, but I think I'm just gonna try and find a pad. I think I like that. Let me see, I got a messed up right here. I'm gonna remove this. I think I like the way it sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and add some effects to it to bring it to life the way I like my sounds to sound. And we're gonna keep on building from there. I think this is a good starting point though so far. I might drop some bass, like a bass note with the pad, but we'll see. That's it for my drums. I'm gonna go ahead and find a bass sound on the drop in here for this. Let's see what we get. One of my favorite basses though is a basic sign in uh Nexus. I always use that one, even like 
uh, on the song Try Me, I used that bass. So pull that up real quick. To me, it always just sounds good and clean. And that's all I'm really looking for with this. honestly like this beat i'm gonna go ahead and save this and yeah that was a beat i made with nexus of course i have other vsts that i like to use on a regular basis such as contact i like uh what is it analog lab i like pigments i already mentioned contact a whole bunch of stuff i like to use so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish arranging this beat and i like it you know it's still possible to use stuff through Nexus, of course, it, it does sound a little dated because it has its own little sound to it. But to me, you know, that's what makes certain VSTs good because it has sounds that's ready to go. And this fits that tone. If I ever wanted to make those same style of beats that I was making at that point in time, I go right here because I was using Nexus for everything at that point in time. Since then, my style has kind of changed some as far as the type of sounds I use and whatnot because the feel I'm going for. But it still sounds good to me. Um, I'm not going to buy Nexus 4 anytime soon unless they have like some type of special deal on it. I might do it, but I'm just going to hold off until maybe Nexus 5 comes out and maybe it'll be some new presets, like a nice amount of them and some other features. That'll be cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Nexus is still useful in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.